Uh, my name is Rico Roman. I was a staff sergeant in the United States Army. I uh, was uh, with Bravo Company 214 Infantry out of Fort Drum, New York. I enlisted in 2001. Uh, the reason I joined the Army is uh, I wanted to see and do other things. I, I was getting, uh, you know, wanted to, wanted to go different places and serve my country. I and mean, I wouldn't change my life one bit. Uh, things happen for a reason and, and I think, you know, they've only made me stronger. This week on Veteran Outdoors, we're surprising U.S. Army veteran Rico Roman with a trophy whitetail hunt in New Valley, Texas. Rico suffered the loss of one leg while on deployment in Iraq. His story will be told on this episode of Veteran Outdoors. Several years ago, a small group of friends, both veterans and civilians, banded together to make a difference and to pay tribute to our country's veterans. The mission was simple to honor our country's wounded veterans' service and sacrifice by surprising them with dream adventures. These are their adventures. These are their stories. This is their show. Veteran Outdoors, giving back to those who gave. Veteran Outdoors, presented by Ambush Firearms. Don't just hunt, ambush. Polaris, see the hardest working, smoothest riding off-road vehicle now at your local dealer. Charlie Bravo Aviation, Freedom and Private Aviation. Anti-Monkey Butt Powder, they cover our butts, let's help cover theirs. And U.S. Optics, engineered for superior performance. All right, we just got to the hotel down in San Antonio where Jim Stanick flew in and stayed last night. So we're gonna go get him. He's gonna actually be the host of the, of the weekend show. So uh, let's go pick him up. I know Brian Ipoch, we've enlisted uh, to help us get Rico Roman to the hotel. We've got an airplane leaving in about 30 minutes, so this is gonna be a quick surprise and we'll head out. One of the really unique opportunities um, about Veteran Outdoors is being able to take part in the surprise of watching a veteran's face go from confusion to you've gotta be kidding me. Coming out here to surprise Rico has just been a really unbelievable opportunity. We enlisted um, a guy by the name of Brian Ipot. Okay. He's a veteran. We've taken on another trip. Okay. He's actually helping us surprise Rico this morning. Um, the way it all went down is about two weeks ago at the hangar dance. Okay. Um, we decided to show everybody how we surprise people. So I got up on stage and I, I talked about, you know, we present him with a rifle and we do all this other fun stuff. And, uh, and then I said, then we find a veteran that's deserving of the trip. Somebody like Rico Roman. We had just uh, finished up. Uh, winning a game there in Austin, uh, a, a sled hockey game, and then uh, he invited me to a dinner that Veteran Outdoors was hosting. Um, and he goes, "Yeah, let's let's go to this dinner, and uh, what I would love for you to uh, introduce you to some of the guys." So I, I thought it was no more than just that. Which is Patriot Ordnance Factory out of Arizona. They send over one of these for every single one of the veterans that comes on our trips at no charge. Then what we do is we find whatever that, that, that dream adventure is and we put it all together, such as maybe just the first weekend of December, we'll find a place in New Valley for a trophy buck hunt. And then what we do is we try to find a veteran that matches that. And I think we found that veteran and he's actually here tonight. Is there a Rico Roman? Rico! Rico? Yeah, come on up. Come on, We're Rico. taking you hunting. You're referred by a lot of people, buddy. It turns out like uh, they called my name out and I, I was a recipient of a brand new rifle and then I was told that I was going to go hunting. I mean, it totally surprised me. I mean, threw me off guard. Like, I did not know none of this was, was happening when it, when it did happen. We're gonna go out and we're gonna find you a trophy whitetail. You're referred by some of your best friends. Some of them are here tonight. Yeah, So, he also was part of the hockey team. Yeah, we just came from the yeah. So congratulations. We look forward to doing this with you. We'll work out all the details. Thank you for your, your, your service and your sacrifice, sir. Thank you, guys. Let's give a round of applause. Uh, we had a great time at the dinner. Uh, I, had, I was so surprised that I had gotten chosen to uh, do this hunt and also receiving that rifle. Uh, it, it totally caught me off guard. And um, it was a big surprise, you know, that, that Dan set me up like that. And also there was a bunch of other veterans that were there that were uh, really good friends of mine and 
and to see that they were in on the uh, on this as well was just just a great feeling. Closed captioning is provided by Source One Distributors, committed to the mission. Anti Monkey Butt Powder understands the freedoms we have as Americans and supports Veteran Outdoors. They've donated thousands of items to our troops, and during this season of Veteran Outdoors, they will donate one dollar to support our program, plus in an item to our troops for every bottle of powder purchased on their website. As someone who spends a lot of time outdoors, I know that chapped, irritated skin can ruin your day. Anti Monkey Butt Powder helps you stay comfortable all day long. So remember, the troops are out covering our butts. Let's help cover theirs. Only Polaris delivers the ultimate combination of power, suspension, and agility. The only trail-capable side-by-side, Ranger Razor. The only sport performance side-by-side, -side, Razor S. The only four-seat sport, Razor 4. And the only extreme performance side-by-side, -side, the 88 horsepower, Razor XP. Razor Sharp Performance only from Polaris. Huge rebates and low financing are available right now during the Polaris XP sales event. Working American, raising a family, helping my neighbors, and appreciating the men and women in our armed forces. I also happen to sell private planes. Sure, there are celebrities who jet around the world, but 90% of the private aircraft in the U.S. are flown by small and mid-sized businesses. Companies that use planes to get to remote locations or respond in a crisis enjoy profitability that shows what a competitive advantage private aviation can be. A big thanks to the men and women who defend that freedom. This segment of Veteran Outdoors is brought to you by Sarasport, the ultimate hydration and performance drink. Welcome back to Veteran Outdoors. Medically retired Staff Sergeant James Stanick, uh, living out in New Mexico now and been given the opportunity to come back out here and back to the Live Oak Ranch um, where I was out last year, had a blast with it. And now, you know, with Veteran Outdoors and becoming part of the staff out there in New Mexico for their liaison out there, um, Cody Hart gave me a call and told me about the Live Oak Ranch hunt, that we were getting a chance to take another veteran out here. And I said I wanted to be a part of it. <laughs> What's up? How are you, man? Good to Good. see you. How you doing? Good. Rico, doing? this Rico. is Jim Stanick. Nice, nice to meet you. Hey, he's going to be joining us on this trip. Oh, right on. Well, what we figured was it's 85 miles to Uvalde. That's a long ride. Okay. So instead, we're going to take a couple of planes. Oh, wow. Does that work for you? <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. the other cool thing is that we have a lot of gear. Okay. So uh, Brian's actually going to go along, too. He's going to try oh, to pick yeah. up. I was just asking him. I was yeah. like, hey, Brian, so what are you, are you going to be able to go? Or? My name's Brian Ifock, and I met Rico Roman at the Center for the Intrepid, which is the nation's premier amputee rehabilitation center. I knew how much he liked the outdoors and liked to go hunting. I mean, he, he didn't know what was going on. Jim actually went on the hunt with us last year at the same place. All oh, right. Yeah. yeah. We were down here last year and hunted down here. Great time. Great, great time. You're going to enjoy the heck out of it. I can't wait. You got to understand that this weekend is solely about you. Okay. It's, uh, it's a way of us saying thank you. Um, and it's a way for you to understand that we, people understand and appreciate exactly what you go through and what we went through as soldiers, you know, being a fellow that myself, you know, I, it's a little tough. But this weekend is about you. It's about you having fun. If there's anything that we can do, just let us know. We got it taken care of and we'll figure things out as we roll and just keep smiling. That's the most important oh, thing. We were introduced to this program through a friend of ours, Mike Ward, who flies for the organization. I'm a disabled vet and I'm really glad to be in uh, helping out here. Staff Sergeant Rico Roman is a 29-year-old native of North Portland, Oregon. He moved to San Antonio with his family of four to proceed with the amputation of his left leg above the knee after suffering injuries in Iraq a year before. So we were met there in San Antonio by the Veteran Airlift Command that gave us a, a direct flight here to Uvalde 
where we met up with John Hopkins and his two guides, Irvin and uh, Travis. How are you? I'm doing Good fine. to see you again. This is Rico Rico, Rico, Rico John Hopkins. Hopkins. Yes, that's Rico. How are you guys? Good. Good, Good to see, see you again. again. Yeah. How are you? This is Rico. Hey, hey. Rico. Nice to meet you, Rico. <laughs> well, we're excited to be back and so glad you guys have it have, have us back. So we can't appreciate it. Can't uh, thank you enough for it. It's our pleasure. Well, I think we're pretty much loaded up. Luckily, Brian Ipok was able to drive the pickup. And so we'll jump in with you guys and hit the road if y'all are ready. This is Veteran Outdoors' second visit to the Live Oak Ranch, and we can't be more excited to be here again. I was there in Sadr al Um We were uh, running a lot of checkpoints, vehicle checkpoints, man checkpoints, as well as uh, present patrols. I was uh, running a checkpoint um, with uh, three vehicles, and we had uh, just finished up our, um, our checkpoint. Um, we were uh, heading back from this checkpoint um, and being relieved by another uh, another squad that was coming out. I wasn't usually lead vehicle, but that particular day I chose to be lead vehicle. You know, I'm, I'm like that kind of guy, just lead from the front, and uh, we just happened not to see the ID, and uh, we rolled over it. Um, I, I sustained injuries to my legs, both my legs, uh, but my team leaders, the sergeants that were on my squad, uh, in my squad, um, Helped me out. I had no, I was in no fear at all because you know, uh, I felt like I've trained my guys and myself as, as best as my abilities were, and and it and it showed itself there. So if you look for ten points or more to begin with, that's a that's a good thing to do. Our rule is here, and it's an easy rule to follow. You get to shoot the biggest thing you see. So there's no. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Uh, there's no, there's no lower limit. Well, oh, I uh, love this uh, country of ours, and one of the reasons I wanted to have the guys out was to show my appreciation. This is my way of giving back a little bit to uh, those that made it possible to do the kinds of things that we do here. As the surprise roll yet again, you know these guys. They think it's done, they think it's over, and lo and behold, it's not. We just keep rolling with the surprises. As soon as we got here to the ranch, uh, Jim uh, hooked me up with this scope and we put it on this uh, new POF rifle. Uh, we sighted it in, took a couple rounds, uh, finally got it sighted in. We wanted to put Rico on the biggest buck we could find. I got the clearance from Mr. Hopkins to let him shoot the biggest buck on the place. So that was pretty cool. Not having to worry about whether it's too big or too small, and uh, it, was, it was just amazing. Once we got into the blind, um, just tons, tons of different animals came through. I mean, from uh, Gims buck, and uh, we seen some kudu, and we seen a, a, a sable. We also seen a, a bunch of different bucks, but uh, we, we weren't, we didn't see anything we wanted to take at that particular moment. But there was so many different animal out there. I mean, it felt like I was on a safari hunt. You won't believe what's coming up next when Veteran Outdoors returns. What started out as a small local project has grown into a nationwide movement. It started just as an idea. The boot campaign was created to generate American awareness about the needs of our military men and women returning home from combat. I said, you probably have the best idea I've ever heard of when it comes to supporting the military. You know, take a moment out of your busy day and put yourself in their shoes for a second. Find out how you can help support the boot campaign by logging on to bootcampaign.com and get your boots on. Veteran Outdoors is proud to have country musician Kyle Park as a lifetime member and sponsor of this segment of VO. Welcome back to Veteran Outdoors. Staff Sergeant Rico Roman's in pursuit of his dream adventure, a big old Roman nose trophy whitetail. Friday night we just finished up our hunt. Uh, just so many different game out there. Uh, from just, we seen at least 15 turkey, uh, Big old kudu, I mean it was humongous and it was so quiet to, to see it sneak up on us. Tons of deer, we seen uh, two nice sized buck, um, we even got to see a sable and we actually got to see two kudu kind of like battling with their horns so that was that was great, I mean I'll never get to see that kind of stuff again. We're just looking forward to tomorrow's hunt as well. I think when disabled veterans especially um, get together and everybody's got different disabilities, um, which is what kind of make us all unique in our own little way. Uh, but when we get together and you start to see guys like Rico who are, you know, getting around on 
on a prosthetic leg, it inspires me because I'm like, what, what do I have to complain about? I think some of the greatest things about being in the service, uh, especially in um, my unit that I was in, was that uh, we deployed to so many different locations, you know, from the Balkans and uh, Europe, uh, going over to Kosovo for a peacekeeping mission, uh, and doing so much for the locals there. You know, they had a, a major uh, disaster, uh, had an earthquake there, and we had it. We just happened to have boots on the ground, you know, um, as well as being deployed to Iraq, uh, three different tours. I think the greatest moments that I had were with the guys. You know, have, there's no other camaraderie that you'll ever have that I think that I could ever have in my life other than my immediate family, than those group of guys that I served with. So we just get into the blind and um, just before the light gets up, um, to coming out, um, we see this humongous stag and uh, then we also see a bunch of other deer and come out and it was just right, right before the light came out. We sat in the blind for a little while and then uh, uh, we had a few deer show up, uh, a couple little bucks and then and then uh, actually uh, when I did see the deer that we were looking for, you know, something something very nice and big, uh, it actually, uh, we had to wait for it, uh, it to present itself but by that time it went into the wood line and then um, we were just kind of, well if it shows back up again, you know, that, that will be the deer for you. And sure enough, it did, but it, it, it took a while, and um, by that time, deer were getting really close to us, so we, we had to be so uh, quiet. We had uh, a, lot of, a lot of deer close to us, and uh, we, we finally got it um, to where it presented itself. All right, Rico, whenever he turns, you've got the green light, brother. You're ready. Whenever you're comfortable, he's turning. Good shot, oh, brother. Man. Oh, he dropped right <laughs> in his track. Yeah. Oh, man. I didn't man. think he was going to come back, you know, after we seen him over here. Well, he circled all the way back around those trees and then came out on the other side. Right. But that was him. You could see the little oh, yeah. cl crab claws on that left side there. Man, that was awesome. That was a great shot. Oh, too. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he didn't go nowhere. He was one of those deer that, you know, he's a really good deer. You know, oh, yeah. He had a shot right here, but it was one of those things. It was like, you know, if it's supposed to be, he's going to come back out. Exactly. And, sure enough, and, and he went in the wood line so quick. I mean, as soon as, because uh, he had popped up and nobody had seen him yet. Uh, and I just wanted to look and I seen him. I was like, oh yeah, I think that's what he went there. And then sure enough, he just went into the wood line too quick. That's how they get big, huh? Being sneaky like that's that. Right. Well, brother, I'm impressed. That was awesome. I'm impressed with the gun, too. Man. Oh, yeah, it shot great. I mean, <laughs> right on the money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's still there. That's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could have proved that. And that was an awesome shot. I love that it just crashed down. <laughs> Stay tuned for the conclusion of this incredible adventure. This is the perfect hunting combo for our program. The 6.8 rifle offers low recoil, yet provides enough firepower to ensure our hunters have enough gun. This lightweight design and monolithic upper and adjustable stock allows the hunter to quickly and easily set up the gun to their specific feel. Each rifle is then topped with a US Optics scope, which features a wide field of view, low light performance, and a true diopter adjustment, which equals unmatched reliable on-target shot placement. Tim Kennedy, former Green Beret, Special Forces sniper, Ranger, and a uh, big fan of this gun. This segment brought to you by Maceta Land Solution, helping landowners restore and preserve the beauty of the Texas Hill Country. It was just really, I felt isolated within Walter Reed. This soldier's angel, which really was an angel, just came out of nowhere and was 
there for me. A contribution to Soldiers Angels provides vital aid to wounded heroes through programs designed to give them hope, comfort, and dignity. Show your gratitude and may no soldier go unloved. To donate, visit SoldiersAngels.org. Welcome back to Veteran Outdoors. I think it was uh, great uh, having Cody there in with, with me in the blind. Um, he was giving me tons of great tips on how to age the deer and being able to uh, be in there with somebody that uh, you know isn't isn't pushing you or or you know just 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 letting it be and just kind of like having just as much fun as you are you know made it a great experience for me. Oh man, that's a good deal. Holy cow, man! Look at that. Look at this guy. Good guy. <laughs> that is a trophy deer. God, oh, man. Lee. Look at him. Look how big. I bet he weighs. 200 pounds. Easily, right? Look at the neck on him. Oh, man. Brother, man. I really appreciate Congratulations. You Thank you so much for everything you do. You know, this, yeah. we came out here looking for a big buck for this you, big mature deer. Is. You know, we thought we had the opportunity earlier. You stepped into the bushes as soon as we said shoot him, like you knew. Oh, yeah. But, you know, we both said if, if it's meant to be, we're going to have the opportunity. He'll come back go. out, yep. You know, I want you to know uh, antlers, etc out of Seguin, Texas is going to mount this deer for you for free. Oh, wow. And Uvalde Meat Processing is going to process the entire deer for you however you want to, all at no cost to you, brother. Oh, I really appreciate it, you guys. Well, it's just way out of what I thought we were going to be shooting. I thought just maybe just a little management hunt with some, some tiny deer, and these deer are humongous. You know, it, it totally amazed me. Dude! <laughs> How awesome is that? Gnarly! Oh yeah, look at that. A little nubbed up, man. man. You talk about a shot. You know, it was real important to, to be a part of that wonderful, wonderful, you know, laughter, smiles, and then that face of like, I can't believe this just happened. Um, and to hear Rico's story about how it happened, and that's pretty cool, you know, and it was really awesome to be a part of that. And I think it was, this is a redemption for my trip, isn't it? Uh, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Big thanks to, uh, to uh, Dan Robles for linking me up with uh, Veteran Outdoors, as well as uh, Brian Ipock, another good buddy. And you know, I really appreciate you guys hooking me up with this. I would like to say a big thanks to John Hopkins and uh, the Live Oak Ranch for allowing me to come out here to Uvalde and hunt such a beautiful deer. So thank you guys very much. Join us next week on Veteran Outdoors as VO alumni Staff Sergeant John Botts surprises his friend, Staff Sergeant Justin Wynn, with a Rio Grande turkey hunt near Fort Lancaster. <laughs> then they head south to the canyons of Pandale, Texas to hunt exotic rams. You won't want to miss this. Come join Veteran Outdoors June 27th here at the Dell Diamond in Round Rock, Texas for Veterans Appreciation Night, sponsored by the Texas Veterans Land Board. Veterans and their families enjoy free admission when you reserve your tickets at texvet.org. Come out and say thanks and enjoy some exciting Round Rock Express baseball. This episode was made possible by Spec Ops and Texas Hunt Co. This is all about the heroes who risk Oh man, their I cannot say that right. You vowed the, I said you already. You <laughs> <laughs> can't stand those guys. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Grab a bite, it's Jimmy. <laughs>